Candy in Fort Nightmares has a lot of different abilities and there's a total of six different types of them. In today's video, we're gonna be running through all of them, what they can do and how it can give you an advantage in game modes like Zero Build where movement is everything. First things first, where does it spawn? Candy spawns all over the map, not everywhere on the map, but a lot of locations. Fort Jonesy has a fair bit, Loot Lake has a fair bit, and even locations like Rocky Rills or the house that's in the middle between Tilted Towers and Herald Sanctum. In order to get it, you just need to walk up to these pails. They always look different. Some of them are different colors, some of them are different shapes, and you can search it, or you can also just pickaxe them and get it out of it by it dropping it. So what do all of them do in terms of abilities? If you're talking about the jelly beans, they give you a total of 10 shield each, very similar to a mushroom in the game. Not a slurp mushroom because your health goes up instantly. So if you're carrying a stack of 10 of these, you happen to find 10 of these in total, it will give you full health. Coming to the next ability here is the Thermal Taffy. Now the Thermal Taffy gives you Thermal Vision in Fortnite. For the majority of these candies in Fortnite, their abilities last for a total of 30 seconds to 45 seconds, 45 being for the most part. Thermal Candy is really, really good and a lot of people didn't used to like Thermal Vision in Fortnite because they used to consider it a disadvantage because it made the sky super bright. They've given a lot of changes to this over the current seasons and the previous seasons and I think it works really nice now. It doesn't make your game look super, super nice but being able to spot enemies' outlines in the game is a big, big advantage. And I don't know why this wolf is an outline. Maybe because it's chrome. We'll just assume because it's chrome. You can see these other ones here. That's how it typically outlines them. If you join this one up with the Hollow Claws Mythic and you hit a scan with it as well, it can give you double vision as you'll be able to see people through the walls as well as with the candy. When it comes to the peppermint in the game, it gives you the chili spice effect or the fast running effect in Fortnite, which lasts for a total of 45 seconds exactly. You can hit a sprint while using this to get that extra, extra boost. When it comes to candy corn in Fortnite, this heals you for white health, similar to how corn heals you or a cabbage heals you. It's a 10 and it ticks upwards. When it comes to hot drops in the game, this allows you to jump super, super high. So you can dodge people's shots. This will allow you to also maneuver around people and they will struggle to see where you are. So if someone's shooting at you and you're hitting a sprint, if you hit a jump in between, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to see where you're at. And then on top of that as well, the hot drop candy does also completely stop fall damage. So if you wanna use this for a sky base or something, it's a really good ability too. If you pair this up with tires, you'll get an extra boost. Do note all of these candies will heal you for health, a total of five each apart from the jelly bean, even if they give you a different effect. So if you're a little bit low on health, they can be great for that. Fortunately, there isn't an abundance of where you can collect all of this candy at once, apart from going to Chrome Punk and you can buy a total of five zero point pretzels for 120 gold each, racking in at a total of 600 for all five of them. Compared to how it was in chapter two, you can't get a large, large amount like you did back then. When it comes to the zero point pretzel, this this gives you the zero point effect so you can teleport. This does work kind of weird if you pair it up with the wolf claws as it kind of lags you forward a little bit because it's giving you that extra extra boost. But for the most part, it feels like it doesn't work properly so I wouldn't recommend it. If you try and pair some of these abilities together, they won't work fantastically. For each of these items, you can carry a stack of 10 to 15 each. And if you can't find anything like shockwaves, I highly recommend taking the hot drops or taking the peppermints for a match, especially the zero point pretzels. So yeah, that's what all of the six Halloween candies do currently in Fort Mares. My name is Oni. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.